In this video, I'm going to be taking you inside my head and showing you exactly what I think in a live Mutt game in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player they could possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button. Every single day on YouTube, I upload videos that can help you get better at this game on the offensive and defensive side of the ball. I also upload gameplay so that you can actually see what I think in a live gameplay. Now, uh, real quickly here, I am running the nickel 335 wide defense on offense or on defense, I apologize. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and set my adjustments up here. Uh, nickel 335, in my personal opinion, is the best defense in the entire game. And if you wanna get uh, my complete guide to the nickel 335, then you can get that in the description below. Uh, but basically this defense is just absolutely insane. Now, a quick tip here, whenever you see that bottom left that you're running out of time, if you just pause the game, and then you hit circle, it's gonna, you see here, it's gonna give me a fresh uh, 15 seconds so that I can continue to make uh, the necessary adjustments that I need to kind of set up my defense. I'm gonna put Charles Woodson in the slot and then I'm gonna grab the uh, the Mike Blitz three, which is my probably one of my favorite plays between that and the cover four show two. Uh, I feel like this is just honestly the best defense that you could possibly have in this game. So uh, anyways, coming out, looks like my opponent might be doing some running. As you can see here, we're able to sh shut the down uh, or shut down the run with my uh, nickel 335 wide run defense again if you want to get the entire uh and the exact defense that i'm going to be running in this video you can get that in the description of the video i'm also running uh actually the trips tight end on offense if you want my full trips tight end offensive guide uh you can get that in the description as well um, everything is linked down below but anyways real quick right off the rip here you're going to see that i'm going to go to a little bit more of a pressure base uh whenever i see someone coming out in the run i like to just kind of send you know pretty quick pressure at them uh, because if they pass the ball, uh, typically you're going to be able to just get an instant sack if they get, try to go play action or something like that. Um, here we're going to go a little bit more coverage base. Uh, but as you can see here, you know, the defense is just trying, we're just trying to kind of force him to have to work a little bit. Uh, it's going to roll out of the pocket here, do a little bit of a playmaker. Um, throws across his body and makes a crazy throw. And that's probably a little bit on me for not making a little bit better of a user in that situation. All right, so what my goal is on the first drive, and really my goal in general when it comes to defense, is I just don't want to give up a touchdown, right? I, I want to give up. I can give up a field goal. I can give up yardage. The biggest thing I want to do is I want to force my opponent to take a field goal as opposed to taking a touchdown. So I'm just trying to force him to kind of keep everything in front of him a little bit here, um, you know, and just trying to kind of force that a little bit um, and kind of just trying to keep the – the run in front of me a little bit before we get down into the red zone. Now, if I do need to stop the run, you'll see that I'll shift into either the nickel normal um, or I'll shift over to the big nickel over G. I find that those two run defenses are a little bit better uh, than the 335 wide, but the 335 is much, much, much better uh, in terms of pass coverage, in my opinion. So, anyways, here we're going to let's see if he goes play action here on us. And he is going to look like he's going to do that. Uh, he's got a little post over the top here. I got Mike Evans right there. I think he probably high pointed that, um, but it's going to be incomplete. So we kind of did our job here. We've got him in a fourth down. We'll see if he does go for it or if he takes his three in the situation. Um, I form slot, two tight ends, two wide receivers, one running back. That personnel grouping uh, pretty much tells me, you know, he's going to obviously go for this. Uh, but one of the things we want to make sure that we do is just kind of stay disciplined because he's probably less likely to run the ball. Um, they're a little quick streak of the seam to Vernon Davis. Uh, good read by my opponent. And that's really where my user should have been. I should have been covering that, and I didn't, and uh, ended up paying the price. So anyways, here it uh, looks like he's going to flip his formation. Um, so we're just going to shift with him just like this. And a nice little quick stretch to the left. And I'm not sure what playbook he's in. I'm, I'm assuming he's in Las Vegas. But uh, I form slot, you know, looks like he's going with the kind of that I form slot stretch scheme. So what we're going to do in this situation is we're going to go ahead and start spying our safeties. Uh, just trying to get a little bit more aggressive in our run defense here. Um, got to take that away. We got spies all over the field. That's a huge sack right there. And um, now we're going to have another opportunity. Uh to be able to get off the field. So I've got to be a little bit more uh, careful with this tight end streak here. I, I put a deep half there this time. Uh, you see that he does a really good job of taking that away, but unfortunately I got stuck on the, I got stuck on my adjustments. I got, got snapped and um, you know, good job by him. I can tell you this guys, one of the things that I talk a little bit about in these inside the mind gameplays 
is the importance of having a very simple and easy to follow scheme. And you see the reasoning for that in what just happened to me right there. Um, due to the result of what just happened, you know, basically it was an easy, easy read for him to be able to just say, okay, I know, you know, I know exactly what you're doing. Um, and, and I end up getting caught because I didn't get my adjustment in. That's one of the main reasons why it's super important to be simplified. Uh, good job by my opponent there going to fullback dive. I, I, I've been trying to develop a little bit better goal line defense out of big nickel, but I just don't think it can work. I think you're going to have to just go down to the goal line in that situation. So probably a bad play on me. Now, like I said, on offense, I am running the trips tight end offense. And uh, if you want to get my entire trips tight end offensive guide, you can get that in the description of this video for just 10 bucks. Um, but felt pretty decent, honestly, there on defense. The biggest thing is we just, you know, didn't get our setup in and we got snapped. And that's a little bit of a result of just not being uh, prepared and trying to do a little bit too many adjustments pre-snap. So anyways, I'm going to start out with this trip side in. I really, really like this offense. I'm having a lot of fun with it um, at this point in the season. Um, there's a lot of different methods and a little, little bit different strategies in which uh, you can run this offense at a pretty high level. But all in all, it's just... I really like the simplicity of the play plays like X spot plays like PA slot corner. They've just got a really nice ability. There's something actually very unique about trips tight end that not every, not every offense does have this. And that's the ability with the, the not even the glitchy, but just the motion snaps. We're going to basically be creating, you know, a lot of gun doubles throughout the course of this video. So, you know, and then the beauty of this is, this little route right here to the running back. This this route out of curl flats, one of the better routes in the entire game. As you see right there, just a little quick, easy read to get us started. Um, I'm rocking a 49er theme team. I think I've got 25 49ers. I've also got 25 Raiders. So I'm kind of doing a, a 25 out of 25 theme team on both of those. So, you know, that's kind of what I'm rocking as far as personnel. Uh, as far as abilities go, I actually don't like the abilities I have on this. Uh, these abilities are actually designed for the bunch. Uh, tight end so you know forgive me if the if the players don't play exactly how we want them to play uh, it, it looks like my opponent's probably going to be running the the 335 odd running some pressure uh, setups out of that so we're just going to be you know keep it really simple the beauty of the trips tight end is that it's it's one of those styles of defenses that you really want to be intentional about what you're calling um, you know based off situation based off personnel based off down all of those things um, are really really important so like right here i'm going to go with a little a uh, little delay drag uh, right here to the x receiver this is kind of becoming uh one of my favorite little adjustments whenever i have a tight end especially out of like a bunch tight end or a trips tight end to use that little route combination i think it's actually relatively pretty effective um, another thing i like to do is just it sounds so simple but these motion drags are just so daggone important so i'm going to do two of them actually on this play um, kind of a double drag set up here thinking he's going to take the first one and unfortunately that actually worked way against us right there i shouldn't have low balled it i guess uh, i'm going to go to one of my favorite passing concepts out of curl flat uh this is this route right here i think is super underrated uh this motioned over little corner route it's really good if your opponent's running you know a lot of cover three or a lot of cover two uh, right there my opponent did a pretty good job but i love this playmaker hitch out of trips tight end i think that playmaker hitch is really really good um randy moss made it look great but right there so far smooth the the key to trips tight end is number one i you know you have to think about what you're going to do you're not just going to come out and just muscle people um it's not an offense that's designed for that it's an offense that is designed to be precise and to think a little bit before you act um, you can run the same play over and over again as I recommend only running like five, five to seven key uh, plays in a scheme. But you just have to be a little bit more precise. You have to kind of understand where you're reading uh, before you snap the ball. You don't just want to, you know, you don't just want to just quick hike. And I mean, you can, there's room for that. But, you know, really what you want to start with is this kind of methodical uh, approach to offense. I find that that's the best way to kind of come in whenever you're going to run a trips tight end scheme. You just want to think in terms of I am running, you know, I am running something like that. So like here, we're going to go with a little bit of a motion over uh, corner route here to Isaac Bruce. We'll see if that's open or not based off of how he adjusts. 
and there's George Kittle being you know being good for us again uh, right there and see that's what you've got to kind of be a little bit a, a little bit concerned about when you run trip side in um, and the main reason why is just because of the fact that you know that trips tight end doesn't always have the best pass protection um you know it, it just doesn't you know it's just the way that the the offense or the way the offense is built but you want to be really good at these little quick routes and you really that's why because the um because it's so much similar to a spread uh that's actually why i kind of got back into it is because i create doubles out of it so much with the motion snapping that it's essentially spread right but what i really like about this this offense is where the triangle receiver standing you'll see that he's standing kind of right in that little area right there that's why I really like this offense because um, based off where he's standing right there, it really does create uh, some good little uh, throwing lanes. Uh, we, we, you probably heard if you've ever watched um, an interview or any conversations with like Drew Brees or shorter quarterbacks, they thought they talk about throwing lanes and positioning. I also like that it's pretty much a direct tell. So like I can tell the snap of the ball. I can pretty much tell you if he's in man or zone just based off where he stands. As you can see, he's got his corner all the way over the cross there. So right here, we're going to try to just go this little seam in the back. It's one of my favorite little red zone dots. Easy dot for a touchdown right there. He's running, you know, obviously we could tell he's running zone coverage as a base shell. So that's going to determine a little bit of how we make decisions. But decent drive on offense. We left him with 49 seconds, three timeouts. So he's got plenty of time to go down and get a field goal. But this is also something that I wanted to talk a little bit about. I, I talk about this. Pro I try to talk about this at least once um, in every video that I do on gameplay. You want to make sure that in your settings, you have it set that you want to kick the ball off if you win the coin toss. Um, and the reason why is you're going to see right here. Now we're in a position where the pressure's kind of shifted back to him because we get the ball uh, coming out of halftime. I'm going to get the football. Uh, which is good for me. And so, you know, again, we're just going to kind of give ourselves, you know, a decent opportunity to be able to, to work. Now, you see that he's going to this goal line normal. Uh, when I see people do this, I like to shift uh, into the big nickel defense. Um, we'll see how it works against this guy. Um, I, I totally wasn't ready for that, though. He got me with a little bit of a quick hike. I've been noticing that a lot of people that are like runners are shifting to this uh, kind of goal line style of run uh, scheme. It's so like right here. You see how our slot corner kind of follows with him. So we're going to have an inside third on that side. And then we just have to kind of watch out for some crossing routes. But as you can see, you see how we can run through just like that. So this takes away the power. O. it, it doesn't always take away the fullback dive. Unfortunately, though, that's kind of the one thing that I, I don't necessarily love um, about this. But anyways, so now he's in a third and eight position. You have to remember the position that you're putting people in. Um, and so as a result, you now I can sit in big nickel but I can just basically do this adjustment here, which is gonna, you know, now put him in a bad, a little bit worse of a position, just trying to kind of force something here. And I mean, he makes about as good of a, about as good of a catch as you'll see, or about, a, I, I don't know. That's kind of a bad, bad read in my opinion, but the route was open earlier in the play. Wasn't quite open right there. So anyways, uh, he's gonna go down to goal line here. Let's see if he does the flip glitch. Yep. That's fine. We're going to stay right here just like this. We're just going to stay with this. Let's see. Yep. There we go. Good D. Okay. So, and that's why I like Big Nickel because Big Nickel can shoot, I think, about 90% of the runs. Um, there's there's a couple of runs that it does struggle with, but about 80 to 90% of the runs, Big Nickel is going to be able to solve for you. And then you're going to, you know, for the rest of them, you know, you just want to use, um, you just want to use like 335 wide or something. Okay, so second and 12, uh, you got to think he's coming back out in that I-form slot. Um, slot deal. I'm off my guy, so he's going to have a shot. We're going to put that deep, uh, deep third, middle third right there. We're shading our coverage up. So really the only thing is this little quick flat right there. Keep him in bounds, please. All right, so that's going to leave one timeout. And that's now we're starting to kind of see, okay, you know, for this specific player, you know, we might actually, um, we, we might actually want to play, um, something like this here. So we got our deep, our deep guy. He actually got pretty good separation on me right there. So that's going to bring up third and 12. 
And now I don't I th I don't know if you can make I think you can make one from like 43. I don't know if you can make one from here. So what I like to do in this situation is I like to play just simple big nickel uh, cover two man with four seconds left. Um, you know I'm gonna put that deep third in, and I'm just gonna use a rush off the edge here uh, with Deion Sanders. And if he tries to you know if he wants to throw a corner out because he's only got four seconds. So it's not like he has an eternity. So we're just going to try to just put some pressure on him, kind of make him feel it a little bit. And there we go. We get the sack. So now this is like kind of the best case scenario. So um, he went down, he scored. We wish we could have held him to three, but he went down and he scored, which is good by him. And then we went down, we scored. But now because we kicked the ball off first, we're going to get the ball to start the second half. It's such a foundational thing, but it's so, so critical. If you um, want to be, you know, if you want to get better at Madden, this is probably the easiest and first step that I would recommend you take. And the way you do it is you just go into your settings and you make that your kind of default option in MUT. They, if you go into MUT, they actually have like MUT settings in the menu there. And you can just do that. And it's, it takes like five seconds, but it is so critical, uh, in my opinion, to success. Okay, so... Um, Right here, you see the shifting and stuff like that. So he came out in man coverage, audible to zone coverage, based off of the way those guys worked. Um, you know, here we're just gonna pound Derrick Henry a little bit. Uh, just let them let him know that we can run. And I actually like the trips tight end from the New England Patriots playbook a little bit better than the trips tight end from the um, playbook that I'm in right now. And the biggest reason as to why that is is because of the um, the quick base. The quick base run is super, super, super f uh, effective. Right there, I missed a read. I had R1 wide open. I just missed him. So we lost four yards. Okay. Um, and that's where, that's, that's where I made a little bit of a mistake I was talking to you guys about. I was kind of running the play without, like, first kind of thinking it through a little bit. If you're going to run trips tied in, uh, you need to do that. You need to think it through. Like, absolutely, it's very, very important that, that you think it through. Okay, right here, um, I don't have the right play, which is fine. But what I like to do is I will mix this combination in right here. This is just a simple uh, little PA counter go, kind of almost like a PA boot over uh, type of play. And he's just blitzing the crap out of me with that Montez Sweat Blitz. With that golden ticket Montez Sweat, this 335 odd is screaming. Here, we're just gonna take the check down, quick read. He tried to put on a little bit of too much pressure. And let's see what we got in this situation. So, I think what I'm gonna do right here, um, you need to, I the, the trick with this Montez Sweat Blitz is to ID the corner on the outside. That's That's kind of the first step. And hopefully we'll be able to pick this pressure up. We'll see. Oh, dang. He still got him. Hmm. Trying to think what to call, what to call, what to call. Do delay fade. We'll just run this with RG3, get some yardage. Okay, so now this is actually really important. Um, so we got third and eight right here, but RG3 is completely gassed. I noticed that when I was rolling out with him. So I'm actually going to shift right here, um, and I'm going to take him out. And honestly, I'm just going to try to set myself up in a good uh, fourth down situation. So I put Rich Gannon in. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm. I'm probably not gonna pass. I'm probably just gonna straight up run. Uh, I'm gonna audible over to bunch tight end and run inside zone, just because bunch tight end inside zone is pretty good. Uh, so we're just trying to just trying to kind of like give my guy some 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 time. And Derrick Henry did air truck wizard, just trucking people for days. Exactly. That's about best case scenario. Um, and here you see that Griffin is still kind of gassed. 
Uh, so in this situation, what we're going to do is if you, if you notice this here, I'm just going back and forth between the plays. You've probably seen, uh, you know, pro players do this. This is basically just helping the stamina. Uh, it's a little bit of a stamina glitch. You see that now, uh, RG three has a little bit more stamina. Now we're not going to run, uh, we're not going to pass the ball. I should have kept Rich, Rich Gannon in honestly. Uh, but right here, we're just going to use this little motion trick out of the trips. This helps a little bit with like three, three through five odd, uh, making it a little bit harder to shoot. And, and now we're going to come down into the fourth quarter. So we're pretty much able to take away the whole quarter. One of the things about trips tied in that people don't realize is that it is really, really good for clock management because it's such a balanced offense. Um, and the types of routes that you're going to be hitting within this offense is going to actually lend itself a little bit to, you know, kind of more of a ball control style. So uh, anyway, okay, so we're going to go second down and six he's probably going to be anticipating that we throw the ball we're going to go ahead uh, and try to hit this curl flat play if i can uh, i don't know what's going on but i can't move he's probably going to scream at me right here i gotta look we're looking for the tight end and we'll get out of the pocket derrick henry's just being a beast so right there, that was honestly like we kind of got screwed by the game a little bit. Um, we kind of got screwed by the game a little bit uh, with the pre-play adjustments. And then we kind of got bailed out by the game. Uh, we, I mean, we made the right throw, but right here, you're going to see, I'm going to do this right here. Uh, this is going to help a little bit with that, that blitz, hopefully. Uh, just trying to kind of uh, keep myself from getting screamed at he did send a lot of pressure we got that corner out in the back of the end zone for a nice touchdown so pretty decent drive right there by the offense we made a couple of mistakes but all in all played pretty well uh played pretty smooth and uh i don't know that we've even thrown i don't know if we've thrown an incomplete pass yet with the trips tied in i mean if you actually take a second like before you um call your play and just kind of like i guess just kind of meditate or think a second um, kind of gather yourself you, if you think uh trips tied in is really hard to stop if you just try to come out and like run and, and just kind of like quick snap trips tight ends not the kind of offense that's really um successful with that in my opinion uh it's just not from what i've seen okay so right here i think my opponent is in iform pro i'm having a little bit of an adjustment kind of getting adjusted here but you see there the 335 run defense comes through for us and I mean, he's had eight yards on nine carries. Really, the only thing that he's been able to do is uh, get me a couple times on his play action stuff. So hopefully we'll be able to solve that right here. Um, we'll see, we've got to watch the tight end. That's really his only hope. Um, take away the scramble. And I had him manned up, but I don't know. Somehow the running back got free. So that's going to put him in a first down and 10 situation. You might see me play a little bit more uh, aggressive here. Uh, and the primary reason why is because I'm trying to trying to kind of force him to like pick up his pace a little bit to give myself enough time if he does score to be able to go back down and score. So it's kind of tricking a little. It's a little bit of trickery. Like if he throws, I'm running. I'm trying to use a rush him. If he runs, I'm trying to just blow it up. But like you see, like, OK, good call. But really what we want to try to have happen here, and, and that's why you're going to see, I'm actually going to uh, put all of my stuff back. Oh, I guess I never changed it. Um, I was going to put this all back on default. I think I maybe did that for like a goal line trip or something. But the reason why I'm saying that is because you're going to see, I'm going to go like all hard flats. And we're just going to try to like scream at him. We're really, we're really just honestly trying to uh, force him. If he does pass, uh, we're really going to scream. Uh, right here, I'm playing bad defense, right? That was actually a, actually, we got a nice little play right there. But I, I ended up playing bad defense. So this is what I'm talking about right here. So uh, I'm going to go with a cloud flat, and then I'm actually going to go with an inside quarter right there because of his inside pass lead streak stuff. And there you see, there's the pressure. So now we're pushing the, now we're putting the gas on him a little bit. If he decides to try to throw the ball from an under center position, we are going to blitz the living daylights out of him. That's pretty much our, uh, our commitment. So right here, if he tries to throw this ball on out of a play action, we're coming for him. We're just sending the heat, forcing him to have to adjust right now. We're going to take a timeout. Probably not a great decision, but we're going to do it anyway. Um, I mean, I guess we just wanted the ball back to try to give you guys some more reps, but you see the, 
when that was really the solution all game long, it took me a little bit to get there. Um, I'm a, I tend to be a little bit robotic sometimes um and i kind of forget like oh i need to do this or oh i need to do that or whatever um and kind of adjust a little bit but based off of him like hitting that tight end streak right up the seam uh see how we can just kind of get up there in his grill a little bit and put some pressure on him uh, and we're able to get the stop so right here in this situation if we you know we just need one first down and pretty much the game is over uh, well we might need more we, we may it just depends on when we get the first down so Anyways, uh, right here, I like to just kind of keep playing my game, keep showing you guys like different things uh, that you can do. Let me show you here. So if you see, I'm going to ID this corner on the left. I'm trying to get this blitzer uh, picked up. We'll see if we can do it here. Uh, and man, he's sending he's sending a lot of people in pressure. And that's where that's where you, you notice that he's running a lot of man to man coverage. One of the major mistakes that I'm doing is I'm not setting my I'm not setting my game up here to play because you'll see see that right there see that movement because of where that corner is at that tells me that it's a base alignment and so that just tells me you know again just different types of defenses different types of things he's going to do now here he'll probably call a timeout good decision by him um i'm gonna go to this pa shot post because i personally probably have not done a great job of like planning my man beaters right um but in this situation, you should see basically we're going to go with a play action. That play action, that running back should pick up. Um, he should pick up this pressure. And then we've got this nice little uh, little drag route that we're going to kind of run. Uh, but we're basically rolling out and just trying to hit the delay fade. George Kittle has been huge for us all game. A little air trucking. And we're going to go ahead and go for this on fourth down. Um, probably would go for it anyway, honestly. Uh, I mean, I guess you could punt. I mean, 27 seconds with like five timeouts is kind of a hard, hard thing to get. But you've got to believe that he's going to blitz the, I mean, you just have to believe that he's going to blitz a lot of people on this play. So when someone's blitzing me a lot, I really do like this curl flat play. Uh, but what I like to do is I like to take the circle receiver and do this, you know, this, this adjustment right here. Um, and actually, you know what we're going to do is we're going to do this. We're going to bring... Um, the the square receiver all the way over and now you're going to see a little bit of a misalignment happen if he presses me on this left side um i should have you know that right there that little tight end corner you've probably seen this a ton but good dot for me right there and we didn't throw an incomplete pass pretty much all game uh, i recommend honestly if you're in trips tight end i recommend double clicking the left trigger as soon as you snap the ball and then you really want to be intentional about like, you know, again, reading the defense, not forcing anything. Um, Cause if you try to force stuff, see, I just stepped up and took the sack right there. That's one of the things I've had to learn the hard way out of trips tight end. Um, normally I would have tried to like force something cause I'm scared to get sacked. Learning to take your sacks actually, I think will really help you. Uh, there's times where the defense just does a good job. And so you have to give them the credit. But anyways, good game to this guy. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to get the exact offense and defense that I ran in this game, you can get them in the description of this video. Thanks for watching, guys.